It is June 29th, 2022, and you're watching The Code Report. Well, it's that time of the week again. A fresh new web framework has been born, and I know exactly what you're thinking. Uh, 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 I can't f***ing do this anymore! Its name is Fresh, and it's dripping. Like, literally, the logo is dripping. But more importantly, it has some awesome features. It ships zero JavaScript to the browser by default, has no build step during development, and is based on the island's architecture, which I'll explain in detail in just a minute. Fresh is a full-stack framework for server-side rendering, like Ruby on Rails or Laravel. But you write your apps in TypeScript because it's built on top of Dino, which, if you don't know, is a JavaScript runtime alternative to Node.js. Dino was created by Ryan Dahl, the same guy who created Node.js, because he wasn't totally happy with the way things turned out the first time. And it's my fault, and I'm very sorry, and unfortunately it's impossible to in undo now. It is officially pronounced Dino and not Deno, as I messed up in this video, but the benefit of using it for a web framework is that you get first-class TypeScript support out of the box. In addition, you can build and deploy your app without a build step. While most JavaScript developers are bragging about increasing build times by 10%, Dino developers just don't even have a build step. Fresh can be deployed to the edge instantly with Dino Deploy. The simplicity here is really awesome. One drawback, though, is that Dino has a much smaller ecosystem when compared to Node.js, and not all NPM packages are compatible. The most interesting the interesting thing about Fresh, though, is that it's based on the island's architecture, which is also known as partial hydration. The idea is that you build a website using a JavaScript framework. In this case, Fresh uses Preact for the UI. But instead of sending JavaScript code to the browser, you render everything to static HTML on the server. That means by default, the only thing the end user gets is a static HTML page, which is much faster for the browser to load and render. In many cases, though, a website will need more interactivity than just static HTML. And that's where islands come in. But but first, respect to Jason Miller, who's the first person to describe the island's architecture, and also the creator of the Preact framework, and a bunch of other stuff that you're probably using for free right now. When a website needs more interactivity than static HTML, it can opt into JavaScript on individual components. The way that works in Fresh is that any component kept in the island's directory will also ship JavaScript to the browser. All other components will be rendered as static HTML. This may look familiar if you've ever used Astro, which also takes a similar approach. But one drawback to be aware of is that every Every page is server-side rendered. It's not like Next.js, where the client-side router takes over after the initial page load, then renders everything else client-side. It can be harder to implement libraries like Firebase Authentication, because you'll have to move your authentication logic to the server. In other words, preserving state from one route to the next could get tricky. It's a lot more like a traditional web app, as opposed to a modern single-page application. When building an app with Fresh, I really like the simplicity. You have routes based on the file system, and can easily create strongly typed APIs. It's also based on web standards like the the Fetch API, which allows it to be deployed to edge functions that produce extremely fast response times anywhere in the world. Another cool thing worth mentioning is that it uses Remix-style form submissions. When submitting a regular HTML form, you can write TypeScript code that will handle that form submission directly in the component file for that page. Overall, you've got a lot of cool stuff in a very simple package. Now you can take your side project that's 90% done, throw it in the garbage, and give it a fresh start. This has been The Code Report. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.